The wine's back, and today we're drinking out of the bottle. Hey Cheap Pitchers, I'm Rob, and this is On The Cheap Tip. Now we all have a predetermined notion of what we think healthy food is. Predetermined notion, that was a big phrase for me. But in actuality, do you really know? Do you? So today I'm gonna show you 10 healthy foods that are actually not that healthy, especially for weight loss. So. Well, let's get started. Number one, smoothies. Everyone loves a smoothie. I love a smoothie. I would go to Jamba Juice all the time after the gym because I thought it was good for me. Guess what? It's really not. Now, even though it does contain high concentrated amounts of fruit, which is a lot of sugar. And on top of that, I think they even add sugar into it, which is weird because it's supposed to be healthy. One small drink can be up to like 590 calories. You might as well just eat french fries and a hamburger. Maybe that's what I will have now after the gym. <laughs> Number two, gluten-free foods and snacks. Now, yes, gluten-free foods are really great for people who have allergies to wheat and celiac disease. I think I'm saying that right. Not really sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But a lot of people think that eating gluten-free foods means that it's going to be less fattening, less calories, and that's just not true. Actually, gluten-free foods has just as many calories and fat grams and sugars as regular food. Sometimes even more to make it taste like the real thing that it's substituting. Just saying. Eat in moderation. Number three, granola bars. Now, it's true that granola is very good for you, but if you ever ate raw granola, it kind of tastes like dried up dirt. So what do we do? We grab a granola bar, which is a little bit sweeter, tastier, but with all that tastiness comes the sugar. Yes, granola bars have high amounts of sugar. They have chocolate chips and syrups in them that are just really not good for you. So a good option for this is to actually use raw granola and sweeten it yourself with natural sweeteners. Trust me, it'll be a lot less calories in the end. Number four, which I am very upset to say because I actually eat this, turkey bacon. Oh, say it isn't so. I love me some turkey bacon, but apparently it's really not that great for you. Turkey bacon is like a cured kind of meat. It has like lots of preservatives, which is like terrible for you. It's loaded with nitrates and sodium and even, I just found this out, food coloring. Why do they need food coloring? Why can't it just be the natural color that it is? I don't know. America. So this whole time I thought turkey bacon was so much better for me and it really isn't. It might be a little less fattening, but it's probably just as bad and saturated with fats and oils as regular bacon. <sighs> I'm a little upset about this one, I have to say. I just had turkey bacon this morning. <laughs> Number five, low fat salad dressing. And this actually stands for every low fat food in general. Low fat foods to make them taste like the original are replaced with a lot of extra stuff in it to make it taste good. Like sugar and too much sodium and lots of other scary chemicals that you don't understand when you're reading them. Yeah, it has that shit in it. People think that it's diet and they're like, oh, I'm gonna lose weight because this is good for me. But that's not true. I'm taking sips in between takes. The best alternative to any kind of dressing is to just make your own. Use some olive oil and red wine vinegar. Mix in a little bit of spices in it and there you go. You got a dressing. What's so hard about that? What number are we on? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can count. Dried fruit. Fruit in general is pretty good for us and you would think that dried fruit would be the same, but it's actually not. Most dried fruits come with lots of added sugars and preservatives in them. Raisins, dried cranberries, they all have added sugar and I didn't even realize that. I mean, I understand the cranberries because they're a little bit like tart, but raisins are naturally sweet. Why are we adding extra sugar? So when selecting dried fruit, you want to get the most naturally dried fruit, even dry out your own if you have a dehydrator. That's fun. Number seven, low fat peanut butter. Now regular peanut butter actually has monounsaturated fats, which are the good kind of fats that help to burn other fats. When you're going with a low fat peanut butter, you're getting rid of the actual good fat and you're replacing it with a lot of fillers, sugar, and extra junk that you just don't need. That's not the point of eating peanut butter. It's a good fat. You want that fat. So if you're eating low fat peanut butter, you're doing yourself a little bit of an injustice. All I'm gonna say. Number eight, veggie and turkey burgers. Now yes, turkey is a more leaner meat than beef, and veggie burgers have no meat in them. However, 
If you think that they are less fattening, you are wrong. Actually, they have just as much fat and oils as a regular burger. So, uh, it ain't weight loss food. I understand that vegetarians will eat a veggie burger and that's a great option for them, but to think that it's just healthier for you is actually false. I just don't know how else to say it. Number nine, fruit flavored yogurt. I don't really like yogurt and the only kind that I will eat is the fruit flavored kind. But actually, this is really bad for you. Fruit flavored yogurt is full of tons of sugar. Do you see a common theme running with all these foods? The best option to fruit flavored yogurt is to just get plain yogurt and add your own fruit. Problem solved. And finally, we've come down to number 10, whole wheat. Now there is tons of controversy on my channel about whole wheat. People will say it's terrible for you. People say it's good for you. Everyone seems to be kind of on either side of the spectrum. Whole grains are actually really, really good for your body. They help get you know, everything moving. And there are studies that show that eating whole wheat as opposed to processed wheat actually helps you lose weight. Now the bad thing about whole wheat is that not all whole wheat breads and products are 100% whole wheat. A lot of them are enriched with white flour and corn syrup, which is linked to belly fat, and we don't want that. So besides people that are really allergic to wheat, whole wheat isn't bad if you just get 100% whole wheat. I know I'm gonna get so much shit for that. You people who hate whole wheat, I see you out there. Anyway, that's all the tips that I got for you today. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure that you comment down below and let me know. And also make sure that you subscribe to my channel because they make videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And make sure to hit that alarm button so you know when my next video goes live. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Now, regular peener. Regular peener. <laughs> that's a new word for you today. Your peener. I'm not really an alcoholic. I'm really just drinking out of the bottle because I'm too lazy to pour it in a glass. There's really just a glass left from last night. So last night I was an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have another sip of this. I'm gonna have wine lips after this.